<laughs> All right, now we're gearing up for a, to view one of the best meteor showers of the entire year. Uh, the Perseids, right? That's right. Yeah. Yes, meteorologist Christian Bridges is here to break down your chances of seeing it. Yes, mm. and we love to see what we're seeing right now. Look yes. how blue the sky is. We're not dealing with the thick wildfire smoke so of last right. week. Skies are a lot more clear and it peaks tonight. So I'd say the chances of seeing something are pretty good. This all is right. one of the best meteor showers because of the year. We have so many meteor showers, yep. all these things, and then we get like, uh, uh, then we get the the, the haze or we get mm -hmm. the yep. clouds and it's like, oh man, but we're looking good tonight. That's right. You know, we've had a few other meteor showers this year where uh, things have not lined up for us, but this year it looks like things will other than one annoying little factor. And we'll talk about what that is uh -oh. in just a second. But here's a picture of the Perseids. This is actually back in Bethel. Tammy took this picture in 2018. You can see the meteor there in the upper beautiful. right hand corner. I know, beautiful. Uh, yeah, very cool to be able to capture a picture of these. But if you're going to try to take a picture of a meteor shower, this is probably the best one because it's one of the most active. In fact, a lot of people consider this to be the best meteor shower of the year, or at least tied with the Geminids, which comes up later this year in December, although the nights are longer then, so maybe that one's a little better for viewing, but still, uh, it should be great weather. It's a lot more comfortable to view a meteor shower in August <laughs> yep. versus in December, so I'd say this one might be the better one to get out and view. So we got the first seeds that's coming up tonight. It was actually last night into tonight are the two peak nights of this. Of course, a meteor shower occurs when the Earth passes through the tail of a comet. All that debris hitting the atmosphere, burning up in the atmosphere is what we see on the ground as a meteor shower. So let's talk about what we're expecting with the Perseids tonight. Yeah, this is uh, the peak tonight, up to 100 meteors possible in an hour. You want to look into the northeastern sky, really anywhere in the sky, though, as long as you mm -hmm. stay focused on one spot in the sky, uh, you got a good chance of seeing these. So when you guys are driving into work tomorrow morning, That's what I'm thinking. be on the lookout. Okay. Your chances are pretty good. We've seen them coming into work yes. early in the day before. I, I think your chances are pretty decent of seeing one on the way into work. When tomorrow. we get to work or we pull over to watch. That's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, or you just, you know, you're driving and you just happen to if see it. If it just yes. crosses through my vision, I can't help it. <laughs> right. That's, <laughs> that's right. I'm not saying, you know, to be looking while you're driving necessarily. No. But yeah, you know, you're looking Corner straight drive, down the road yeah. and boom, there you go. Uh, but yeah, up to 100 meteors an hour. Wow. So yeah, very exciting when this one comes into town because you got a really good chance of seeing it. However, the one downside is that we just had the full moon. It's still going to be super bright, 86% illumination. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can wash out some of the meteors, makes them a little harder to see, but still worth going to check this out. Best time is going to be pre-dawn hours, 1, 2, 3 a.m. So right when you guys are coming into work tomorrow morning, it's going to be perfect for it. And, and again, after sunset tonight, you want to go out and check this out. Look, this is 1030 tonight. First of all, wow. toasty, <laughs> mid to upper 70s. Second of all, almost completely clear. No clouds expected. Should be great for viewing this all night long. That continues to be the case. This is 1 a.m. Likely when we're getting towards the peak of the meteor shower, 70 degrees. I mean, yeah, probably one of the best nights for looking at meteors or stars because it's so warm out there tonight. And as we head into the very early pre-dawn hours, you can see we're in the 60s. Very comfortable, very clear all night. Should be great conditions for viewing this. So yeah, always a, a good show here. Uh, worth checking out late tonight. Maybe uh, set that early alarm, you guys. Uh, for you, I mean, you'll be doing that anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, it might be worth, uh, you know, before you go to bed tonight or as you wake up very early tomorrow, checking it out. I, yeah. I did this before. I think it was a lunar eclipse or something. I threw one of my uh, chairs in my trunk, yep. and I went over to a, a ball field. It was really dark, and mm -hmm. I sat out there. I got up a half hour earlier. I went out there and sat there for a half hour, and it was actually kind of fun. It was yep. so quiet, except for the crickets, and then a deer that scared me. In the oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to be worried about those deer. Oh, They're yeah. coming for you. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember, because we both saw something. Yep. Was that the Perseids or was it a different, I, I don't remember. Gosh, I remember we were coming into work. Yeah. It was, we both happened to see a meteor. Yeah. I want it, maybe it was the Geminids in I December. I think it may have been, yeah. It, I remember it being winter time, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. It's always a treat. It is always a treat. Always really cool to see something like yeah. that. Are you sure it wasn't a UFO, like aliens were landing? Could or? have been. It could have been. We both saw it, so That's you never right. know. Well, if you've got any weather or space or media related questions you'd like to ask our Weather Authority team, you can always email us at weather at wgme.com.